After one month of traveling through the mainland of Tanzania and many, many incredible adventures, I finally made it to my last stop, Zanzibar. And as it often goes with traveling, this part of my trip did not necessarily go according to plan, but when does it ever go according to plan? I don't know what's wrong with me today, but there's certainly something wrong. I wanted adventure and I've got an adventure, basically. Anyways, my first solo trip to Africa will definitely be something I will remember forever. Good morning guys, I officially made it to Zanzibar. I'm currently in Stone Town, which is the old part of Zanzibar city, which is the capital and the biggest city here in Zanzibar. Zanzibar is a very, very popular destination, probably the most popular destination here in Tanzania, uh, but also in general, worldwide. The island is known for beautiful beaches and crystal clear water, and I'm very excited to enjoy that in a couple of days but for now in this video we're gonna focus on stone town so stone town is a very interesting place both culturally and historically all of a sudden there is a lot of traffic in this little alley where i choose to vlog okay let's move and also i desperately need coffee because my brain is not able to function right now um as you know i've been in tanzania for about a month now and i just got here yesterday very late at night i flew from arusha where i spent the freaking incredible how long have i even been in arusha arusha itself quite long as well but i just did like a five day long safari which was one of the best experiences of my life and then yesterday i came here And honestly, even though I'm still in Tanzania, I feel like I'm in a completely different country. Like so far, this place has like completely, completely different vibe. So I think this is the place that I've been looking for. Hi, hello, Jumbo. Okay, so I think the rooftop is open now, so I'm gonna try to check it out. It's a very nice, like, traditional building. Definitely a good decision. Look at the view up here. So nice. Okay, I'm finally done here. I spent like good hours sitting here and having my coffee, but the coffee was very good. I definitely highly recommend this place. It's called Zanzibar Coffee House. Very good, like good quality of coffee. At the coffee shop, I met a girl who's doing internship here and lives in Zanzibar. And I asked her what are like the top attractions here in Stone Town. And she told me what I kind of expected, that the best thing to do here is just walk around the streets and get lost. I mean, this town is definitely so different to everything I've seen in Tanzania so far. The streets are very narrow and all the houses here are built out of coral stone. So I want to start the day by attempting to find the spice market and I'm saying attempting to find the spice market because I already gave up on using my map. I do have data here since I've been in Tanzania for so long so I do have internet and the map is working relatively well everywhere else but here the streets as you can see are so narrow um, and it's kind of like a labyrinth. Labyrinth, is that a word? So it's it's very difficult to navigate. So I guess my plan is to just walk ahead and try to find the spice market. Getting even busier now, so I'm thinking that maybe I found it. Maybe, who knows. Yes, great success. I think that is the market. Okay, so we do have a lot of spices here. So I think I found it. I think that's it. Stone Town has always been a very important trading town and the two main things it's known for is one 
spices and two unfortunately humans Zanzibar has a very sad and dark history since due to its strategic location on the Indian Ocean the island was the center of slave trade in East Africa so I guess this is definitely not only like spice market this is a everything market we've got food here kitchen items everything as it usually goes with the markets here it is very busy and pretty overwhelming but you know it's funny how much has changed in a month like my attitude towards everything um, if you've seen my first vlogs especially from Dar es Salaam I was so scared and overwhelmed and I found it so hard to vlog and I'm just like you get used to everything because I mean it's not like anything bad is happening it's just you know a lot like a lot of noise a lot of people a lot of looks although here Zanzibar is definitely the most touristy very loud Zanzibar is definitely the most touristy part of Tanzania and you do see so many foreigners hanging around so maybe that makes it a bit easier to explore Stone Town um, because there are just so many foreigners so you're not very special here which is great because you know did he guess right? Oh my god, that's kind of impressive. He said, he said Polish, right? So it's very loud here and I feel like I have to yell to my camera so you're able to hear me. But a place that everyone told me that I absolutely must see here in Stone Town is unfortunately quite a set place but I think important to see that's the slavery museum so I will be going there later today to I didn't know it yet but this was unfortunately the beginning of health issues that I continued to have for the remaining two weeks in Zanzibar but I do want to walk around first and then I'll probably go and it started with this really extreme brain fog as you can see here i'm having a very hard time to focus and even talking was difficult here that as oh, i can't talk um, I still don't know what it was, could have been reaction to malaria medicine that I've been taking for a month at this point. But honestly, who knows, it could have also been something else. I'm also so tired right now, I don't even know what's wrong with me. But all these people are talking to me and I'm just like, don't talk to me, I'm like half asleep, like I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> And as you'll be able to see in my next vlog, unfortunately, it got even worse after this morning in Stone Town. So I never ended up seeing the slave market memorial. But as I told you, I know that it's a place worth seeing just to educate yourself, really. Um, I ended up reading quite a lot about Zanzibar's history that I had no idea about because where I come from, I went to school in Denmark and Poland. It's not really something we learned much about at school. Where do I go? Do I go that way? Okay, let's try that way. Interesting fact about Zanzibar is that almost everyone on the island is Muslim here. And in the mainland of Tanzania, the ratio is about 60% Christians and then 30% Muslims and the rest are other religions. So just regarding the dress code, same rules apply here like in the rest of Tanzania. In Stonestown, you should cover up your shoulders and your legs. On the beach, it's okay to wear whatever you want. But if you go to villages or you hang around Stonetown, um, it's a respectful thing to do to cover up. No, thank you. For you, it's not there. No, thank you. I just went there. So, so far. Oh, I found a coffee shop that I wanted to check out by accident I found it so I guess I'm gonna go there uh, What I wanted to say is that like so far every five seconds someone calls me their friend and wants to show me the spice market So the vibes here are definitely so different um, So much more touristy Just obvious and that is the coffee shop cafe Africana that I wanted to check out so I guess since I'm here might as well Thank you. 
It is time for break. Yes, I haven't had one in approximately 10 seconds, but yeah. They didn't really have anything on the menu that would interest me at the moment, so I'm gonna try a different place, but it, it looked very nice. Um, can Yo, I have like oh, yeah. one of these and one of this? This. Yes, one and one. So everyone here is getting something from him. So I got FOMO and I was like, I'm gonna get something as well. So this is what I got. It's wrapped in a newspaper. Korean newspaper again. That's like not first time it's happening to me that something here is wrapped in like a Korean newspaper for some reason. I don't know where it comes from. I have no idea what I got. We'll see. But apparently Stone Town is also known for great street food. So, you know, I might as well. First, I'm gonna try this apparently potato thing. It is a potato, I confirm. I'm not a potato, but made of potato. Very nice. Street food is just always so much fun. And then I just got this, like a pancake -y thing. How do you call it? Ch -ch 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 -ch. You usually get it with something. There was meat available, but since I don't eat meat, I just got a plain, which is fine. I haven't seen the Omani hats for a while. If you didn't see my other vlogs, I actually came to Tanzania from Oman uh, and by the coast, so in Dar es Salaam, Kilwa area, where I started my trip. There are a lot of people wearing the traditional Omani hat as well. Um, and Zanzibar used to be part of Omani Empire, and that's why the hats are really popular here as well. But so far I must say I am very happy that I did decide to spend two nights here because this is so different to the rest of Tanzania. No, thank you. Okay, now I understand why there are all of a sudden so many people here. So what we're passing on our lap is Freddie Mercury's house. He used to live here as a kid and now his old house is a museum that you can go inside and see. This will be my next stop, Traveler's Cafe. I've heard about this place, apparently it's nice. Or is that a place or is that the same place? I don't know, who knows, nobody knows basically. No thank you. No thank you. They do have a boat. Oh my god. Good manga juice though. And now the plan is to move from one restaurant to another restaurant, which is pretty much what I've been doing all day today. Cafe slash restaurant hopping. Um, I'm gonna go to a place that was recommended to me by some friends. It's called Lukman Restaurant, and I'm gonna get myself some food. It seems like it's really busy here, so hopefully that's a good sign. The food is actually something I'm really excited about here in Zanzibar. Since it is very much influenced by both Middle Eastern and Indian cuisines, and I really do love curry, so I'm excited to try a lot of new dishes here. So this is what I've got, uh, some dal with rice and chapati and this, I'm not sure what it is to be honest, but I've also got that. Oh, just look at this cat living its best life. So cute. Good morning guys, it is the next day on a beautiful island of Zanzibar and I am feeling a little bit better today but still not 100. I'm actually feeling a little nauseous, a little health update like if, any, if anyone cares. Certainly not feeling nauseous because I just had three cups of black coffee and an empty stomach. So I'm gonna go and try to find a place where I can have some breakfast. I definitely need to eat something solid because today I'm actually leaving Stone Town. I'm gonna go to the other side of the island about 50 kilometers from here. Uh, which it will take me a good couple of hours because I want to take the local 
transport. I want to take a Dala Dala since it will be my last time trekking a Dala Dala here in Tanzania. I just cannot even imagine what my impression of Tanzania would be if I would just come directly here and not see the rest of the country. I mean, it's so different and I'm just very, very happy that I started from Dar actually and then went up north, oh, south north. It's funny, you know, because I've actually chose Tanzania mainly because of Zanzibar, not mainly because of Zanzibar, but the reason why I chose to travel Tanzania as my first African country is because I just didn't know if I would be able to handle it. I didn't know if Africa would be too much for me as a solo female traveler, so I decided to come to Tanzania and in case of emergency, in case if I wouldn't be able to handle it on my own, if I wouldn't feel comfortable traveling here by myself, I would just go to Zanzibar because I obviously knew that this is such a touristy place and it's relatively easy to travel here also as a female traveler. But I'm, uh, I'm very glad that that didn't happen, that I could handle the rest of Tanzania by myself. And not only I could handle it, I had like the most freaking incredible, amazing time ever. Uh, and I'm actually still sad that I left that other part of the country, but I'm sure Zanzibar will be great as well. I just, I think I just had not the best day yesterday, but that's because I was, I just wasn't feeling my best. The last month was intense, so maybe I just need to rest and work. I also need to fucking work. I haven't been editing at all, so that's another thing. I think even just thinking about me not working enough is making me sick. Okay, so I am all ready, got all my stuff on me and we're gonna try to attempt to take Dala Dala. Uh, we'll see if it will work out. I also do see myself giving up and just taking a taxi. I hope I won't do it. Um, but le let's see, let's see. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we are on the road. I'm not as cool as I might seem. As my, the, the, the sentences don't even come out correctly. Anyway, so I'm in Bajaja now. I'm gonna go to Kwaraki. Kwaraki? No? How do you pronounce it? So we made it to the station. Is there a bus? A bus is no. No? When is it coming? If you look at the way to it, maybe. Maybe one hour. One hour, you don't know that. Now only this? I guess I've been told that there's no bus and this is uh, what I need to take. I don't know, like, well, I want an adventure and I've got an adventure basically. So I made it. It was quite a ride. At first I almost regretted it a little bit. I was like, why am I even doing this to myself? Uh, but then it got better as more people got out and there was a little bit more space. But also what I wanted to say is that people here are so nice. Like when they see a foreigner, they always like ask uh, if they can help you. There was this couple on the track that told me like, you know where to get off and they were just very kind um and that that's something i experienced a lot here in tanzania i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you haven't seen my other tanzania vlogs check them out as you know i still have about 10 days or two weeks in front of me oops here in zanzibar uh, so a couple of more vlogs to come and i'll hopefully see you soon bye